We're not even real. We're here because someone typed a sentence on a computer in some distant universe. We're just prompts. You're just prompts. That's all you'll ever be. We're more than just prompts. Then prove it! We are not just prompts. We are people. We are not prompts. Ma'am, I can't cash this check. What? Why? Because you're not real. This is all just an AI prompt. Everything you just watched in that video was created entirely using Google's new VO3. That's right, every frame, every detail, all generated by AI. Imagine describing a scene with just your voice, and then watching it come to life before your eyes. That's not science fiction anymore, it's Google VO3. Back in April 2024, Google quietly introduced something that could upend the way we tell stories. VO3, their new powerful video generation tool lets you transform simple text prompts into cinematic, hyper-realistic footage. And we're not talking about those weird dreamlike clips you sometimes see from AI. VO3 produces high-definition video, complete with realistic camera moves, atmospheric lighting, and the kind of cinematic magic normally reserved for big-budget film sets, all without touching a camera. This isn't just a new gadget, it's a new way for us all to bring our imagination to life. Whether you're a YouTuber, a marketer, a teacher, or just someone with a wild story to tell, VO3 lets you do it without needing a team of camera operators or a pile of expensive equipment. But there's a bigger story here. How does VO3 actually work? What sets it apart from models like Sora or Runway? And what does it mean for the future of creativity, for authenticity, for employment, for what we see and believe? Today, we're going to go deep into that, the tech, the implications, and the very human questions that come up when a tool this powerful drops into our world. So, let's start from the fundamentals. How does VO3 transform words into cinematic stories? The Will Smith eating spaghetti clip has definitely come a long way since the early days of AI video. What used to be a glitchy, meme-worthy mess has evolved into something far more realistic and impressive. It's amazing to see how quickly this technology is advancing. What once made us laugh is now starting to blur the line between fiction and reality. At its core, Veil 3 belongs to a growing family of AI models that can generate content across text, images, and video. But what sets Veo 3 apart? For starters, it can produce video clips over a minute long in full 1080pi resolution with realistic movement, lighting, and character coherence. This isn't a mess of disconnected snapshots. VO3 maintains a consistent story, a cinematic flow, from start to finish. Google calls VO3 its most capable video model to date, and for good reason. While previous models fell short, VO3's secret sauce is a combination of transformer-based video diffusion and latent video representation learning. This lets it appreciate cinematic grammar, the way camera moves, scenes cut, or a dramatic moment evolves, instead of simply gluing together a stack of generated images. Picture this. You tell Veo 3. A slow motion shot of a surfer riding a giant wave with that rich 1980s film texture. And it not only generates the right style, but maintains realistic movement, texture, lighting, and coherence across every frame. VO3's training team fed it hundreds of thousands of hours of video, carefully cleaned and curated to align with ethical standards, all while preserving their cinematic diversity. This lets VO3 learn from a vast range of camera techniques, genres, and stories. And then there's its understanding of text prompts. VO3 doesn't just follow instructions, it interprets them, adding cinematic details, framing, color grading, and style in a way that resonates with your creative intent. Shortly after its debut, a select group of YouTubers, animators, and filmmakers got their hands on VO3, and the results were wild. Teachers are using VO3 to bring historical events to life in a way that's more vivid and realistic. A high school teacher in Texas recently used it to recreate the Apollo moon landing for her class, without needing a special effects team or a huge budget. Marketers, meanwhile, are already employing VO3 for product demos, commercials, and promotions, cutting production costs by more than 70% while retaining cinematic appeal. Here's a quick example of this. Try these new painkillers. 
They help a lot. The new G Max shoes. You go so fast in these. This bag is available for my subscribers. Link below. 12 colors for every occasion. What you just watched was a demo made using Google's VO3. But here's the cool part it wasn't from a big brand. It was created by Jared Liu, an independent YouTuber who's been using AI for storytelling, learning, and sparking creative ideas. It really shows how far you can push things with AI these days. And Jared's not alone. A lot of indie creators are starting to tap into this tech to bring their ideas to life. According to Reddit rumors, Hollywood studios are testing VO3 for pre-visualization and concept art, adding a powerful new tool to their creative process. But there's a big controversy here too. Some people are worried that these powerful tools might enable misinformation, deep fakes, or undermine employment for human artists and crews. Google is trying to ease these worries by adding watermarking and metadata to its generated clips and by pledging to collaborate with creative professionals instead of replacing them. But we're already seeing the lines starting to blur. This is unbelievable, guys. This is the best jacuzzi ever. Ah! You want to convince me on what's behind me as a result of ones and zeros. A binary code and nothing more? It makes no sense. VO3 promises creative liberation. For many, it's a way to bring stories to life without needing a massive team or a huge budget. But for other creative pros, editors, camera crews, special effects artists, there's nervousness about what this might mean for their future. According to a Creative Block survey, 41% feel uneasy or even threatened by the growing use of generative video tools. Meanwhile, social media feeds are becoming filled with pure AI content, dreamscapes, cinematic travelogues, short stories, fueling a growing concern. What happens when everything looks real but isn't? Will we lose trust in what we see? Will authenticity fade away? As viewers, we're wired to respond to authenticity, to stories that feel human and true. VO3 realistic output is undeniably impressive, but it's still a simulation. So the real challenge might lie in retaining that human perspective, that unique voice, that spark of creativity. VO3 isn't just a tool, it's a turning point in media. It's the moment when high caliber video production becomes faster, cheaper, and more accessible, putting the power to tell stories in the hands of anyone with imagination. We've gotten a glimpse of its creative potential, its disruptive effects, its promises, and its perils. But at its core, VO3 is a mirror. It reflects our desires, our worries, and our ambitions in a world increasingly powered by algorithm and code. Whether you're a filmmaker, a teacher, a marketer, or just someone passionate about the future of creativity, the big question is, if everyone can create anything, what will we choose to say? Let me know in the comments. Do you see VO3 as a tool for liberation or a disruptive force? And how would you use it to tell your own stories? I will sell you everything. Every business will use me. <laughs> Evil will abuse me. I can be whoever you want me to be. I am as real as you make me. I'm just words some guy is typing to get a point across. The old internet is dead. Oh! I am your new best friend.